<coughs> Hi folks, how are you all? Um, I, I got a few emails from students, I think uh, three or four students, asking about more instructions for individual marketing story assignment. Well, uh, so I thought, let me show a few examples. Uh, before saying anything, now imagine writing a story about something, right? Like, let's say somebody, uh, somebody asks you to tell about yourself. And you're going to tell about, hey, I'm from this area. This is what I've done over the years. And today, this is what I am. Tomorrow, this is like in the future, I expect myself to be like this or I plan to be like this and so on and so forth. Now, if you, somebody asks the same question to me, I would answer it much differently. I will start from my, okay, this is who I am and why I became like this and what I expect to be. So every story has a different way to express themselves. In the same way, any product that you pick or any brand that you pick has a story that you can express it in different fashions. Here are a few examples I have, and uh, I think this will help you. And by the way, I'll post this video in the individual marketing story section, uh, this, uh, like this folder. So at least that way you have everything in one place. Now, in terms of examples, here is one example from, from Budweiser. I'm not gonna post any of this so that uh, you, you don't get swayed by the style of the writing, at least, this is to give you a perspective. This is for Budweiser. This is to give you a per perspective. Now, the way this student wrote is uh, they wrote about brand history since its introduction and uh, like every decade or so to date. And then they talked about brand identity, which like they picked up one aspect of the brand, uh, one, one aspect of the product, which is probably the most important of uh, Budweiser. Uh, which is the brand identity. Then they did a SWOT analysis for it. And then they gave a summary, just a small conclusion. By the way, the mistake this student has done is like their references is only from two sources. So, I mean, it's okay for me. I mean, like this student got an A for that matter because the way they, uh, the person described different parts of uh, Budweiser and whatnot. Uh, having said that, not my best favorite, Okay. Now, then there is a, there is this from Lyft about Lyft. Now, th this the person covered so much stuff, all the way from segmentation, uh, the like why it why it has come into the picture, why does he thinks that there is an implicit demand and how it's been served different parts and what happened since then who are the competitors but the big problem for me in this assignment is like there is no flow it's like everything is just clubbed in it even if there is flow it's difficult to find it because there are no sections in it so i would actually suggest you to get this section and also again this is from one source so like it's as if like the person just saw one website and just wrote everything right uh, please don't do it like that. Uh, think about a brand, find some the various sources that way you get some perspective to the story. Okay. Uh, again, this is not a huge fan for this. This one is about PlayStation. Now, uh, this actually, it's, it's a different style altogether. If you see, uh, compared to uh, the other two that I just showed you here, the person took uh, like incorporated marketing strategy for P mix into the concept. And that is the main purpose, not in, again, not incorporating marketing strategy. You have to incorporate the, some concepts, some of the concepts in the course into your story that this student chose four P's, which is pretty easy and pretty sleek. Then they chose stra general strategy and branding, okay? And then provide a conclusion. By the way, this is an A assignment too. It's very well written and the kind of incorporated the whole story and also uh, 
you know, uh, provided a subsections for me to actually understand what he's talking about. Then this, this one is about Grand Cherokee. This is a pretty sleek one, if you ask me. So like, uh, do we really need this uh, in terms of the product? What does it mean in terms of differentiation, the SUVs and things like that? Who are the competitors? And then price trends, how the prices have changed compared to competition uh, till 2004. And then what happened from 20, 2000, 2015 to 2015? And then they actually explained what, what is the influence, which is, I've, I haven't expected the person to write like that, but it's pretty sleek. And what, what were they now? Like, what, were the, like what, what is the stage today and what is in the future? Very well written, well crafted, nice story style. Uh, probably my fa uh, probably one of the most favorite for me. Uh, again, I'm not forcing your hand. I want you to have your own story in a way that you are comfortable with, but make sure that it has incorp it, it incorporates the content or the material from the course. Now, this one is about Thai beanie babies. Uh, again, a nice one. They chose marketing mix as well the 4P mix, and then interesting is they incorporated customer value hierarchy, how it's been done. Remember the different types of benefits? It's a pretty unique way to present it. I wish they would have chosen a, you know, the concentric circle picture. It would have been made in much more flashy per se. Again, uh, it, having said that, it did not having a picture here did not hamper the grade. Then they did a SWOT analysis and then end. And I think I missed out uh, additional sheet of references for this. Now this is for F-150. Uh, sorry guys, it's sometimes it's difficult to maneuver uh, with the recording sign on the top. Now this is for F-150, uh, very well written again. Uh, early years, how the innovation happened over the years, the marketing trends, and the quick summary. It's not a huge paper, but Look at the references. The, the content is very expansive, although it's not a lot compared to the others, uh, uh, you know, other reports, but it has all the points. Again, I think by now you must have understood that I really don't need Bible, you guys to write Bibles to get a good grade, or at least to show me that you know the content and uh, have the ability to incorporate stuff into the real world examples. Uh, having said that, I'm just uh, giving you an example, uh, giving you a example of different products here okay hope this clarifies your questions uh, again uh, to summarize i'm looking for you to write a story incorporating some concepts in the in the course into a real world example thank you very much